Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Alicia, and today we're going to talk about a holiday. Today's holiday is Valentine's Day. Perhaps you're familiar with Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. The key points about Valentine's Day: it's celebrated on the 14th of February every year. It's a celebration of love and romance, or in some cases, friendship too. People commonly exchange chocolates or flowers, teddy bears. I don't know, whatever it is, jewelry. What are you doing for Valentine's Day this year? Leave us a comment and let us know. Yeah, that's so smooth. Okay, Saint Valentine. Saint Valentine. I do not know anything about Saint Valentine. It says here it was a third-century saint who was beheaded on February fourteenth, year two seventy-three in Rome. The history which links this saint to modern-day Valentine's Day is sketchy. Hmm, that would be very interesting if this was actually a holiday which celebrated the beheading of a saint. I wonder how we got from this to chocolates and flowers, but. Who knows? Saint Valentine was a saint who was beheaded in Rome, so I don't know what the connection is between his beheading and modern romance. Praying mantis love. The next word is sweethearts. Sweethearts. This actually refers to the candy. There's a candy called sweethearts. They're really, really small. They kind of taste like chalk in my mind. And there's some kind of, you know, romantic or love-related message that's written on these candied hearts, like you know, be mine or XOXO or I love you. They're not really good. It's just the sort of thing that you give. At least in American elementary schools, you're expected. Well, in some cases, in my case, I was. Everyone is expected to give a Valentine to everybody else in the class, like so nobody feels left out. And so one of the popular candies for kids, because it was cheap and it was easy to pass out, were these little boxes of these sweethearts candies. So you would give them out to all your friends or to all your classmates with like a little, you know, Disney character card. Beauty and the Beast. Okay, well Belle's gonna go to this person, and Beast is gonna go here, and this person's gonna get Lumiere. In a sentence, I really hate it when I receive sweethearts on Valentine's Day because they taste so bad, and I can never get rid of them. The next word, the next thing is chocolate truffles. Ooh, so chocolate truffles, this kind of pastryish thing. Confectionery. That's a better word here. It can be filled with like cream. It can be filled with chocolate. It can be filled with I don't even know all kinds of delicious things. In a sentence, I love chocolate truffles. They are so delicious, and it makes me happy to receive them. Truffle shuffle. Cupid. Cupid is the Roman. Well, yeah, kind of stolen from the Greeks who turned him into a guy named Cupid. Supposedly the god of desire and love. Let's see. The common image of Cupid is a baby who shoots people with arrows. He's a little a little angel who shoots people, and people that he shoots with the arrows fall in love. Again, very strange. Very strange. <laughs> I don't know. In a sentence. Let's see. Cupid's arrows supposedly have magical powers that can make people fall in love with one another. Next end. That's the end of Valentine's Day words. Try that again. So that's the end of some Valentine's Day vocabulary words. You might see some of these words and some similar words like this around in your country even at this time of year. So that's what they mean. Try them out with some of your friends. That's all for this week, and we will see you again next time for more fun stuff. Bye.